just purchased FTL. As you can see, it seems to be working pretty well. Um, I guess this game is apparently eight years old at this point, which is uh, news to me because I felt like it was a little newer than this, but that's okay. Uh, I know basically nothing uh, about this game. Other than that, I, uh, I believe you make ships and there's some kind of space combat with the ships that you made. What is new tag to show you have done? No spoiler, first playthrough. Uh, yeah, I should probably do that. Okay. I have added that to the tags. Doors are powerful, that's all. That's all doesn't he remembers. Hmm. Also very, very funny in Ani Badger, I know what you're referring to. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's do the tutorial real quick so that I'm not completely uh, brain dead here. Welcome to FTL. You're the captain of a Federation starship. Uh oh, uh oh. Copyright, copyright infringement. Commander Data is going to come and sue you. Uh, very important mission. All right. Uh, vicious rebels. Blah blah blah. Okay, fine. A lot of Bothans are dying for this data, I guess. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Sounds more like I'm the rebels. Okay, ship the Kestrel is the focus of the typical game view. Okay. Circular buttons at the bottom of the screen are your ship's primary systems. It's among us. Mm. By the way, um, if the audio is too loud or anything like that, let me know and I'll mess with it. Bottom of the ship are your ship's primary systems. Systems use power from the reactor, point it to but with the arrow. Okay, here's the reactor, that's my power. I'm at half power, I guess. What's this guy? We got shields. Turn the music down a tidbit. How's that? Oh, wait a minute. Is it... Is it on the left speaker too much again? Like it was, uh, like was happening the other day? I'm noticing it's slightly off. Ah, I think I'm making that up, it's fine. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I turned the audio down a bit. Circular icons, right, so we've got shields, uh, we've got engines, med bay, and oxygen. Oh good, my people can apparently, uh, <laughs> die of, of, uh, not being able to breathe. Um, okay, Manning increases shield recharge speed. So I'm guessing that you have like a crew that you can assign to uh, particular sections of the ship. Ship subsystems, unlike systems, they do not require power from the reactor. Uh-huh. Piloting requires a crew member to evade in combat or jump. Needs a pilot to function, okay. Sensors, enables view of all rooms and info for enemy ships. Unmanned, okay. And doors, which are apparently very strong according to Twitch chat. <laughs> I will keep in mind the power of doors. I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna get boarded a lot. Um, and you can make as many Among Us jokes as you want. I've never uh, played Among Us, but isn't it basically just Mafia? Like there's not a whole lot of gameplay to it from what I understand. You just like vote on who is the, uh, who's the bad guy. <laughs> Uh, this is an open ship policy. I don't think so. Have your mouse over any system. Okay, I already did that. Oh, I didn't see that it was lighting up the rooms. Was it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, I see it's a little yellow. Okay, fine. Hull meter shield level and current resources are in the top left. Okay, there's my fuel. There's my missiles. Drone parts, which I don't have. Evasion, oxygen, and there's a lot of a lot of meters up here. A little bit busy, just just a little bit busy. Okay, if your whole meter is reduced to zero, your ship will explode. Well, I don't I don't want to explode. I should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered. White system boxes are unpowered. Okay, providing no benefit to the Kestrel makes sense. Left click the engines. Boom. Boom. Okay, so you can... If I right-click, do I get to unpower? Hell yeah, I do. Okay. Oh no, your engine room took two damage. Its system icon has become red to show it is broken. Hull meter is also taken to... I see that. I see that I can no longer power this. Interesting. 
crew cannot repair the ship's hull, but they can fix the engines. I wonder if that's uh, the case forever. Or if maybe there's something else I can get that'll let me fix hull later on. Select a crew member using left click. Um, select multiple crew by left clicking and dragging. So these guys, I guess? Hi, Tom. We've got Tom, Mona, and fired him. Fired him. Uh, well, he, he needs to stay in the pilot's chair, I guess, so... Uh, right click. By the way... Okay, yeah, spacebar pauses. Alright. That's gonna be important, I suspect. Traders can fix hull. Hmm. Alrighty, I see little repairs happening. Finally, Malcolm is streaming Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> no, I've already got too much control over my guys for this to be Dwarf Fortress. With Dwarf, Dwarf Fortress, isn't, isn't that... Uh, I don't know, I haven't played Dwarf For Fortress uh, more than like five minutes, but uh, I have played Nomoria, which is uh, pretty similar, but simpler. I can beat the game without pausing. I see. No pauses the way the game was meant to be played. Are you, are you making that up? I feel like I'm being trolled. Uh, automatically repair system, fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders. Okay. Engines are now repaired. They automatically repower to where they were before. Systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small bonus to the system. I've already read about that. We're ahead of the curve here. Increases dodge chance. I should probably commit this stuff to memory. Shield recharge speed. Huh, okay. The silhouette above the power bar shows... The silhouette above the power bar shows if any system is manned. Ah, uh, yeah. Little, little guy there. Okay. Oh no, fire is broken out. <laughs> Let's take advantage of your airlock. Open one of the airlock doors by left clicking on it. Open doors allows you to drain sections of your ship with oxygen and put out fires. Rooms turn pink as oxygen drains out. Your oxygen systems will slowly refill once your ship's leaks are gone. Okay. Engines are fixed, fires are out. We should FTL jump to the next location. If you don't currently have a pilot, that's this guy. Uh, you should probably send a crewman to the helm. Uh, without fuel, you'd be stranded and unable to jump. Jumping also requires a crew member in the piloting system and a powered engine system. I said that a minute ago. Okay. This uh, this does look... This is tickling my uh, my sensibilities a bit. I, I think I'm going to like this game, yeah. Um, you show me a little star map like this, and I'm probably going to like the game. <laughs> it reminds me of Master of Orion or something. Um, it's the beacon map. Ship marks your current location. Hover your mouse over a location to get more information about it. Alrighty. <laughs> so much information. Unvisited. Left click on a connecting node. Uh, we're trying to get there. Doing the old Star Fox uh, path. Spelunky first try win. Uh, I might do that at some point. I'll try to. I haven't played Spelunky, so let's see what we can do. Every new location will have an event like this. You might have multiple choices available to you at an event. In this example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Special blue choices like this are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. They're nearly always a good choice. Okay. This is the kind of thing that I would... Uh, left to my own devices, if I were not streaming, I would just have a wiki open to tell me what the... Uh, what the... Uh, results of choices would be. But it looks like we pretty much have to fight. You need to power your weapon to fight. The amount of power required is pictured in the weapon box. Uh-huh. Left click on it to power... Okay, well, we already knew that, so power it up. Power weapon to arm it, then target a room. Okay, so you can target spots on the enemy ship by left clicking it. You can also use your hotkeys 1 through 4 to access your weapons. Well, that, that, is, that is interesting. Looks like I only have the lasers for now, which is curious, because I, I do have these uh, missiles, you know. But hold up, can I give myself more power? Why can't I power it more? Is this like tutorial mode nonsense? Um, also, uh, manning reduces charge time. Interesting. So, I think the tutorial is just like not letting me. Um, also, I want this to go here. I don't think it's letting me move things. Then again, I'm paused right now, so we'll see. Alrighty, so... 
left click I left click on a room on the enemy ship, so I guess I will just like <laughs> I don't know what's good to shoot. That's their oxygen room, I suppose. That's their weapon room. Uh there's their pilot. Let's uh let's blow up their weapons if it'll let me. I'm sure the game is unpaused. It's not letting me shoot that. Hmm. Target a room in the enemy ship by left clicking on it. I'm left clicking on rooms. Right, I have to press one first. Interesting. Okay. Oh no, your two shot laser cannon cannot penetrate the pirate's level two shields. Luckily, he cannot get through your shields either. Let's pause. Every two powered bars in your shield system nets you one more shield. In the future, you know what to target based on the ships you fight. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Looks like you need some more help to get through shields. Some events can provide items. This one is providing you with an Artemis missile launcher. Uh-huh. Well, that, that solves the, uh, that answers the question of the missiles. Um, automatically equipped with the available weapon slot. Shooting it expends your missiles, but missiles pierce through all enemy shields. Use the missile to damage the enemy shield system. Some, some real Star Wars action here. Okay, sure. Uh-huh, so I'm unpaused and... Do I just wait for the thing to fire, or...? Wait a minute, do I need to have a guy on the... No? Well, maybe. Okay, I'm pressing two. I'm pressing the thing. I don't know why that didn't work a second ago. Notices enemy systems are damaged or destroyed, their icons turn orange or red, respectively. That's orange. Repeatedly attacking a red system will do no additional damage to the hull, but will still damage... Well, to the system, but will still damage the hull. Reduce the hull to zero, and they will explode. Okay. Reminder for what each enemy system stands for. You can mouse over the green symbols along the bottom of the target box. Ah, okay. That's cool. So their shields are down, which means I can just kind of blow up their ship. Very good. Halberd beam. Uh huh. Weapons or drones are added to your cargo if there's no more room in the respective system. Left click the ship info button so we can equip your new wep weapon. Okay, so there are stats listed here. Um, this thing has a very short charge time. This requires way more power. Um, this does one damage. This does two damage per room hit. Uh, so we just replace it out. Okay, that sounds good. Oops, your weapon system's max power 2 is not upgraded enough to support your new weapon. Open your ship screen back up so we can fix this. It's the upgrade screen. Okay, so the more scrap we have, we use that to upgrade stuff. Upgrade your reactor at the bottom of the menu to support for keeping everything fully powered. I'm a little confused on why it thinks we don't have enough power. Uh, because it seems like I have two left over over here. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I have to upgrade the weapon system itself to have, like, the maximum amount of power that you can go... Yeah, what doesn't he said. Okay. Um, so if I wanted to, I could spend my scrap on that. Um... I feel like the correct play is to get shields rather than doors, since it seems like shields just sort of make you immune to to damage, you know? Depending on how much power they have. How are your new weapon? Hey, Angie Matt, what's up, man? Rearrange your weapons in the weapon system toolbar by clicking and dragging. Neato. Shields won't block missiles or drones. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew about the missiles, not the drones. 
So for the basics, good luck out there. Okay. Alrighty, well, um, the tutorial, which I typically, I typically find tutorials in games really tiring and long and uh, really obnoxious. I, ha I have uh, none of those complaints about that, that, that one. That was kind of the perfect length, I think. If you're going to have to have a tutorial in your game, I think that was pretty good. Um, with that said, my preferred way of games teaching you how to play them um, sort of happens in the game itself with like no need for the tutorial but yeah i think i think this game probably does i, I probably would have a hard time teaching you uh how to play it under normal systems under under normal circumstances i mean okie dokie so this this uh let's see we've got normal we've got easy uh and we've got hard i guess i'll just play on normal for now advanced edition content Hell yeah. Six years ago, huh? Wow. Layout ABC. This doesn't look like something I can change. I guess that maybe I unlock those. Hey, it's Dolan. It's Dolan Duck. Well, if we're gonna if we're gonna have Dolan, we gotta have Gooby. Uh, we'll have butt coin. Okay. Our three noble. Uh, Wait, there's no D at the end of that. Our three noble crew members here, Dolan, Gooby, and Budcoin. Really, uh... Alright, I'm gonna stop being five years old when they have a Bitcoin. Uh... <laughs> Don't get attached to them, okay. Uh... Alrighty, so as you play, you unlock new ships. Kind of cool, I guess. Find a complete a unique quest within the game world. Or beat the game with the previous ship on the list. Hell yeah. Wait a minute. I have six unique aliens on the Kestrel Cruiser simultaneously. Is this to unlock these... different, like, settings of it, or...? So I'm supposed to replace humans? Okay. Humans are the baseline, huh? Alrighty, uh, we start with... Yeah, this doesn't... I'm trying to figure out... What's going on here? I don't think this is changing anything when I click these. This is just what the type A gets, I guess. Or no, no, these these look like achievements or something. Eh, whatever. Um, so we... Oh, you unlock variants of the hull when you get all three of those achievements. Okay, I gotcha. All right, so we have this burst laser, we have the missiles again. Let's get started. Uh-huh, so this is that story we read. Um, carrying data, I need to get it to safety. Um, be sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. Get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet catches up. Can charge. Yes, yes. Continue. Okay, we'll keep this paused. Um, I'd like to look at the little map, uh, if possible. First of all, we have 10 scrap. I can't really upgrade anything with that right now. We have drones. I wasn't really taught how to use that, but that's okay. Got the dude in the pilot seat. We have a dude in the engine room. We have a dude in the weapons room. Let's uh, move him over to weapons. Okay, so if we're not in combat, we don't need to be paused. Okay. This is sort of interesting. So I can click him. I have to right click, not left click. Don't worry too much about getting caught by the rebel fleet. They're not that big of a deal. Okay. I feel like I'm getting memed, but all right. Okay, so is there anything that I can do outside of combat? It said something about exploring, but um, I don't think there's really anything I can do on this screen other than press the jump button. Interesting. There's a store. Reported merchant location. Different location. Unvisited, unvisited. You can upgrade in this screen if you had cash, I see. Yes, this is a platformer. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm not going to go to the store first because I'm assuming they take scrap. Uh, we don't have much of it. 
The longer someone works on a station, station, the better they get at it. Well, that's very good to know. There's leveling up, huh? Okay, so we jumped. Uh, we're going to get an event, like it said. There's an asteroid field. Useful material. Hell yes. Explore. Little di little damage. That's fine. Um, I don't know how to repair this. It didn't really say anything about repairing it. I assume there's a way to do it outside of combat. Someone mentioned that if I had trader... Uh, trader guys, that'd be doable. But I don't... I don't have those, unless you mean I have to go to the store. Compare it shops, okay. Um, I see their little stats, by the way. Everybody sucks right now, but presumably if I keep these guys on weapons for a while, it'll be good. I'm having both of them on the... on the lasers right now, so that I can charge up really, really quickly. There are repair drones. Interesting. Okay, so... I explored the asteroids and it... Whoa, shield's critical. What's happening? Oh, shit. I'm on fire. <laughs> uh, whoops. Am I blind? I don't see the fire. In the shield room? But there's no actual fire. Visible. Is there, is there like a dude in my ship? My camera's broke. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Close that. Uh, open that. Open that. Open that. I see. So the asteroids broke my cameras and then... I see what's up. There shouldn't be too much fire here with the hull open. Or with the uh, airlocks open. <laughs> we can starve the fire by letting it burn the whole ship down. Well, I just fixed the cameras. And it looks like the uh, fire's out now. So have these guys fix this. So I don't think it costs any resources to to fix subsystems. Uh, I see that my dudes are injured because they decided to walk face first into the flames. Um, I don't know how they heal, and I I'm not a hundred percent sure that it's not taking. Oh, healing dudes and and stations is free. Well, how do I heal the dudes though? Go to the med bay. Ah, yeah, we have a med bay, don't we? Derpity do. Interesting. Okay. I'm starting to see why doors would be pretty overpowered in this game. Um, this guy looks like he's doing something. Is he? I think he's just manning the cameras, I guess. Which I didn't think that station did anything. Uh, plus one system level, I see. Yeah. Well, the thing is, if there's no oxygen, the, the fire can't uh, can't go. So. Some ships don't have a med bay? Oh, that's interesting. Alrighty, so... Other than running into some asteroids, I don't think we got anything out of uh, exploring the asteroids, and I don't really see... I don't think there's anything else I can do here, right? So... Uh, hey, Underlord, welcome to the stream, man. Or Latrion, I guess. Seems both me and the other stream are streaming. Hey, there we go. Alrighty, so I think all I can do is jump. Presumably. Some ships have people vent into med bay to stab you. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Alright. I guess I'll just check out the merchant then. I wonder if I can go back to places I've already been to. Although I'm going to run out of fuel if I... keep jumping and not getting anything. Okay, so I've verified these guys take scrap. So yeah, you're, you're, so you're exiting the game, Tony. Uh, Alright, so we can repair here. Sure. But as I expected, we really don't have the money to buy anything. Oh, you can hire bros here. Oh shit, it's a rock man! This guy's a chad, look at him. Look at those shoulders. And he's not messing around, he's overhead pressing every day. He's immune to fire. His name is King. His cousin's name is Chief. Uh, man, look at this big pimp. If I had 55 scrap, I'd hire him immediately. What a bulse. Okay. 
Alrighty, I get it. So an event happens every time you jump, and that's all you do. There's no special stuff that you do on these screens, as best as I can tell, other than upgrading, which we can't do because we have no scrap. So if I retrace, nothing left of interest, nothing left, left of interest, and we have to make sure the Rebel Fleet doesn't catch us, and this is the Rebel Fleet. I get it. Okay, so you want to explore this stuff before this. You only have a certain amount of time. All right. Okay, I'm starting to get it. A mantis vessel. I don't like bugs very much. This hail is merely a distraction. Oh no no! Oh no no no! <laughs> okay, I'll power this stuff up. So, how can I tell how much in the way of shields they have? Because we know that if my damage isn't high enough, it doesn't bust through the shield. So, presumably, I'm going to have to use a missile. Before you hit continue and start the fight, you have a chance to evaluate the enemy weapons. Oh. Like before I got to this point? I didn't know that. Alright, well anyway, I think we just do that. But I would like to know, is it is there maybe like a second symbol here if the shields is, uh, is level 2 perhaps? I'm gonna assume yeah because, check this out, there's four little spots here. So I want to check something. If I try to use my Artemis laser, I think... I think that... Or my burst laser, I think that stops the Artemis missile from coming up. Yeah, I appreciate that, Electrion. Thank you. They have one point of shields right now. I thought you need um, more shield, like two points of shields to block level one. Anyway, so we're just on pause, waiting for the thing to charge. You can see the thing's going up. It looks like both are charging at the same time. Yeah, the missile just fired. This is interesting. Did it actually hit their oxygen? Did the missile actually retarget? It did, it did actually. Okay, so I cannot... Okay, so I cannot use two different weapons to target two different parts of the ship. That is, uh... That is a fact. Okay, and I was correct about the, the lasers. Um, they don't have good enough shields to stop me from simply blowing them away with this stuff. This guy's dead as hell. What we should have done is we should have hit his... Uh, should have hit his weapons first, probably. Based. Okay, that's a missile... That's a drone, that is scrap. You can split targets with your weapons, but I think you misclicked. Um, maybe. Okay. All my subsystems, nothing's nothing's busted, right? Malcolm confirmed for committing war crimes. <laughs> they they attacked me, bro. Maybe I'm the pirates now. I'm cool with that. Okay. So, warning. Um, well, this is interesting. The rebels are about to gain control. I gotcha. So this is where... This is where the actual rebel fleet is. This is just the warning. Just so I can see what happens. We're gonna go here. The rebel fleet has found you, and a nearby scout turns to engage. Let's get rebelled. I should probably pause, huh? Derp. Um, so they have level 2 shields, so we have to use the missiles to blow out their shields. If you notice, the rebel ship is fucking based. Uh, well, it says it's an elite assault ship, and it has level 2 shields and a ton of hull, so... Uh, e yeah, this is questionable. Also, you know what? You guys are right. See that? One, two. Shows which weapon is targeting what. So, yeah. Uh-oh. I'm surprised there's not like a speed button where I can make it go faster. If you die instantly, it's okay. We've only just started. Yeah. 
Well, if I get pizoned here... Engine's taking damage. ASB target locked. Uh, yeah, I jumped into the Rebels to see what would happen. I don't know what ASB means. Oh, my shields are fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm coming out of this one. Also, why do I have a guy in the pilot's room? I don't need that. Okay, so... I charge faster with more guys. I really do need two guys in the... in the weapons room. Recommend you put an extra charge into engine and get the hell out before your artillery. Oh, right! Jumping is an option, isn't it? So, we really cannot defeat this guy, basically, is the meme. That's understandable. Okay. I need a guy on pilot. That's true. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. My, my room is messed up here. Uh... Pilot must be functioning. Okay. Will he be able to fix it in time? Uh, that does appear to be what's happening. Yeah, no, my weapon system is, like, busted, Tony. See, it's red. So I couldn't shoot even if I wanted to. And even if I could, like... I think he's repaired his shield system. There's no way I can win this fight. Uh, I was not supposed to... I was not supposed to be here, basically. Um, okay, so I have a guy here, but I need my two guys to actually repair the, the engine room. We walked right into Sigmund. Yeah, apparently. Also, we only have like a three-man crew. Oh shit, my camera system. <laughs> Is there a way for me to see out of curiosity? I want to I wanna see like a bar that tells me how busted the pilot's room is. Or any... Um... So laser takes three or four energy. One damage to his weapons probably would have disabled it. Interesting. So using missiles on weapons first might be the right play. Although the fact that... I'm within range of the Rebel Fleet means I, I think I'm sucking down giant hits from, like, outside of combat. Uh, hey, here we go. Charging? It has to charge? <laughs> Have you tried opening all the doors? Hmm. Oh, uh, well, actually, there's probably fires messing up my hull, so that's not even a bad idea, to be honest. Except I can't, because the, uh... Yeah, I can't mess with doors at all because my camera system's messed up. Can't dodge if you don't have engines and someone on pilot can't jump immediately after jumping these are these are, these are Battlestar Galactica rules I see all right that's fine we've learned something important all right which is not to mess with the rebel fleet uh, I get one Mulligan at least I mean to, to learn the game. <laughs> Chat. That's okay. That's okay. That's this growing pains is what that is. Okay. Uh, distress beacon. Okay. So what? Okay. So here, here's the meme. Um, in my mind, the correct thing to do is to hop, to get to get the most number of locations. Like do 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 do. You know what I mean? Like try to get as many locations as possible. That's what I suspect is the right thing to do before the fleet gets there. Uh, got a refugee ship is fleeing the rebel advance ran out of fuel hover over the points use your eyes uh-huh be attacked by the now cannibalistic crew oh no no bro what the hell they just ate Mara they apparently renamed my people what the hell that's that's the event I just get eaten you gotta be kidding me wonderful okay And I, there's, like, no reward for this. So what's, what's curious is the distress thing is still there. Don't eat more of that loot. <laughs> mm, 
not so sure about about the game design of just losing a guy randomly. Although I guess I could have known that that's a thing that could happen if I read the, the wiki. Uh, I think like D&D encounters are Arkham Horror. Uh-oh. Uh, that's, that tells me to avoid these kind of things. Looks like a refueling station. It's cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices and a spectacle of frequencies and languages. Is this going to be more cannibals? Let's dock again. <laughs> Everything is a trap. <laughs> All right. Uh, so these guys don't look too tough. Um, forget the engines. I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna blow these guys out of the water. What we're gonna do is uh, we're going to screw up their weapon systems immediately with both sets of weapons. And we're going to get out of the pilot's chair. Engines equals dodge. Uh, that's true, but if I blow up their weapons, they can't do anything to me, so I won't need to dodge. Having two people in a system room doesn't do anything. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I thought I could, like, double charge. Interesting. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. System broken. Okay, this guy should repair. Losing a guy randomly is a little common. See how one man is on the console? Oh, you mean... Uh, no, actually, I don't know what you mean. One man on the console. I mean, there's, there should be a little dude above here, but for some reason there's not. Maybe because he's repairing, so he's not considered to be manning the station? It's, uh, we hurt his weapon, but we didn't destroy it. Alright, Anani Badger, thanks for stopping by the stream, man. If you look at the sprites, you'll see them working in a console in the room when it's manned. Oh, you mean the, their little hands moving? Yeah. Well, what I'm trying to say is I think there is a reason to have two in the room, because I assume that two repair faster. Um, and see how this icon's only there when he gets done repairing? Fire the missile first at the shield so your laser can hit the subsystem. Um, I thought about that, but it seems like level 1 lasers can actually bust through... Um, can bust through level 1 shields. At least that's what it seemed like before, this, this burst laser. Because it shoots three times. But I guess I could be wrong about that. Yeah, see? See? Damage is getting through a little bit. We just blow up his weapons. Um... So now we will shoot the shields. This hall is at four. Um, I wonder if there's ever a reason to take out the oxygen first. Also, I wonder if, if they ever jump away. When they repair, they can't man the ship. Yeah, that's what I thought. Looks like they want to surrender. What is the three? What are these again? That's fuel. Uh... Seven missiles. I wonder what happens if I just take them out. Yeah, no, I wanna, I wanna punish them for trying to trick me, but I also want as much loot as possible. Let's remember how much we got offered here: three, seven, and nine, and see what happens as we blow them up. See if we get more. Adios, muchacho. So three, seven, nine. We got. Uh, we got no missiles instead of the ton of missiles that were offered. Um, we got less fuel. We got drones, which we didn't get offered before. We got, like, double the amount of scrap. Surrender offers are usually worse, but sometimes you take them because the fight is going bad for you, I say. Interesting. Well, the missiles could have possibly been useful, but I, I like the fact that we got more scrap, so I'm happy with this. Okay, so what we can do... Here's a question. Can I enter fights with fully charged lasers and stuff if I if I leave this like this and leave this thing powered? Because if so, that's um really good. No. But there's a there's an upgrade that does it, okay. Well, I guess I can just repair this real quick. Station is red, so. 
Is there is there really no health bar for subsystems, or am I just blind? Maybe it was down here. Maybe that's no, that's power. No, these don't use power. Um, hmm. Curious. Okay, let's jump. Getting rid of the oxygen suffocates them, allowing you to get more rewards. Oh, interesting. I should try that. Power bars double as the health bars. Okay. So we can go back. There's no reason to do that. We can go here. Nothing left of interest. So we really only have one place we can go. Danger. Did we just jump into the sun? Dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship impervious to the heat moves in to engage. Alrighty, so this is the screen, I guess, where I can look at what these guys have um, before I press continue. They have no shields, which is cute. Um, I don't really see how I'm supposed to tell what weapons they have. I mean, I see the weapon system. But I don't see what actual weapons they have. Uh, unless maybe I can like visually see what these little things are. Uh, anyway, we're just gonna we're just gonna blow out his weapons. Also, we're gonna go back here because um, yeah, engines manning increases dodge chance. Yeah, I almost don't want to use missiles just to save the missiles, but oh, he sure is dodging. Okay, our shields are down, but we actually blocked most of it. I wonder if it might be best to have somebody on the shield station. Sun battle. Do I need a pilot to dodge it all? Is that is that the case? Uh, requires a crew member. I thought that was to evade in combat. Oh, you are correct, sir. <laughs> Thank you, doesn't he? Okay, that's a fire. Um... Can he put out the fire himself? Or do I actually need to starve it with oxygen? I don't I don't want to leave him out of this room. I'm working on my car so it goes faster while nobody's in the driver's seat. I don't know, I thought maybe the ship was automated. He will fight the fire and win. Okay. Oh there he goes, yeah. Solar flare imminent. Oh uh, that that sounds like damage. Also, I was fully charged for a second there. Okay, the weapons are down for the time being. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Um, engines, piloting. So this says it's an automated ship. So apparently automated ships do exist. Upgrade the helm, you can give it autopilot evasion. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's kind of what I was expecting. Declare exterminatus on the sun. Okay, we blew up the ship, that's cool. Uh, we get a good amount of loot, that's nice. Now the question is... Let's see, nothing seems to be broken, we might as well just jump. to upgrade after you have 50 plus scrap. Well, that that is, uh, the ship is in danger, so I'm gonna have to jump, I guess. I can't, it says I can't upgrade, probably because the sun is here. What I really want to do is hire a new guy. Will my guys auto heal between combats, or do I have to manually take them over here? Solar flare imminent. Looks like FTL's charging. Oh, this is, this is interesting. So, the solar flare's just straight up cause fires to just appear uh, in my in my ship. And this is interesting because the combat's over um, yet uh, yet I, I'm still having to charge my my FTL to get away. So it's pretty interesting and I bet all this fire and crap uh, yeah it inflicted hull damage as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the um, oxygen gets sucked out of here, and if another solar flare is coming, we'll jump. What the fuck? The fire's spreading! 
Shouldn't there be no oxygen? Uh, can't jump because sun. I can jump. I noticed I had doors in the back just now. Dude, how is this fire spreading? Oxygen takes time to flow out. Let's see. Does the oxygen... Um, the question is... Does it flow out faster with more doors open? Solar flare imminent. Alright, goodbye. Um, that's a store. Let's go there. If I can hire a dude, that's going to be my priority, I think. Cloaking? Bro! <laughs> Bro, I want that! I need a lot more money. Backup battery, we don't need that. Clone bay, automatically clones dead crew with skill penalty. Interesting. Well, we can't afford any of this stuff. 50 is the magic number, I guess. Non-destroyed drones will be retrieved after jumping. I haven't figured out how to use drones yet. I think that's like a weapon that I don't have. Yeah, this is interesting. I just realized you can sell these things. So I could sell my laser if I wanted to. I probably don't. Um, hmm. And there's nobody to hire here. So this is all quite lame, I guess. Hmm. I may as well just do a full repair, I suppose. Because I, I really don't want to sell my weapon. Uh, I'll just do a full repair, it's fine. I had hoped to hire somebody, but the cool thing is I can at least... Uh, uh, open all doors. Yeah, we'll equalize the air pressure. Let's save for shields? What shields? What are you talking about? Do you mean cloaking? Or do you mean to upgrade shields? Yeah, that's probably probably what I should have done, actually. Uh, I forgot about the screen, actually. Uh, shit. Yeah, that would be good, because it would make me immune to certain types of attacks. Clone Bay requires, uh, replaces Met Bay. Reduces their skills if they die constantly. You can use that to your advantage with rescue missions. Hmm. Looks like my skills have gone up. Repair skill. I'm surprised he doesn't have piloting skill. Interesting. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, if you press this again, it opens up the outer the outer airlocks. I should keep that in mind, because the, the tooltip didn't say anything about that. I just almost vented my boys into space, which uh, curiously doesn't seem to happen. It's just the oxygen. Once you get blue options on some events with the cloning bay. Uh, yeah, that's what I was curious about, is what, what opens up these special um, blue things. Okay. So we, we can't go here. The, the rebels will crush me. Um, we'll, just, we'll just go here. Many systems open up blue events, also certain kinds of crew will. It's a fun game, by the way, now that I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, stay out of this or you'll be next. Oh, they're fighting a remote settlement. Uh, he looks beatable. You asked for it. They pull away from the planet and proceed to try to kick your ass. Okay. Um, is it safe to be so close to the rebels? I think it's fine as long as I don't fly right into them, you know? So let's see, they have one piece of shields here. I think my usual strategy of going straight for the weapons is, is the correct play. Um, although it is it is really tempting. Let's see, I wonder if it would be best, if I had three crew members it'd be great. I would, I would have like one guy on shields, one guy on engines, and then go for the oxygen and just get as much loot as possible. I bet you that's the optimal way to play this game, if I had to guess, under certain circumstances anyway. If, if that's true, that you get more loot by uh, starving them out with oxygen. Um, 
I find cloaking very frightening. What now? Oh, cloning. Yeah, um, you should play Soma if you if you are interested in that concept. You might you might like that game. Cloaking is based. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna try that strategy. If even though I don't have three guys to really defend, we're gonna try to take out their oxygen. Okay, there it is. Um, so we busted up their hull a bit, and so eventually their dudes just just die. Is that the joke? Um, so then at that point, I just what put a guy on on engines, and we don't even worry about firing. They will try to repair oxygen. I'll just keep messing it up. We charge these up and are just we'll just fire a rocket as soon as it gets uh, as, soon as, as soon as it gets there, you know. As soon as this turns orange again, I mean. Eventually, you'll destroy the ship. That's true. How long does it take to? Um, I'm letting my hull take damage, which is a problem. The, the question is, how long does it take to? For them to die of, uh, of oxygen loss. And it looks like their, their hull's almost destroyed, so this is maybe a waste of time. It takes a while. And I assume, unless you have some kind of special weapon, there's there's no way to damage a subsystem without uh, a system without damaging the hull, right? Maybe 90 seconds? Yeah, well... Couldn't avoid it. Based. Got a reward. You need a specialized ship to spread enough fires to suck out the air out of the ship. I see. Maybe like a special weapon that causes fires? The ship is poorly optimized for bio kills, so I wouldn't worry. Okay. Alrighty. Get a little shields. Um... We need more power. Let's take the power away from the med bay. Oh, right. We need to actually upgrade. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm a little confused. I take away power from the med bay, which is fine. Um, and then I, it says it requires system upgrade. But I just upgraded the shields to allow it to... You need two points and shields to get an extra bubble. Okay. This is a little confusing the way this is set up because it gives you the extra the extra slot, but there's like, you know, this is one shield barrier and then two. Yeah, I get it. I'm just saying like, why would it even make this thing show up? You know, um, it's kind of interesting. Wait a minute. How's my ship doing? Do I need to repair anything? Extra slot isn't the worst because you can take system damage to shields and keep one up. Oh, I see. So it is meaningful. Uh, well, actually, no. Check check it out. We can... We just need to plan ahead. Um, how we're going to do this. We're going to be leaving things behind that we, we can't go back and explore because of this rebel fleet. Um, remember, we want to make it down to this exit in time. I think I'm just going to go down this way and maybe like do this, do, 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 and then maybe like that, depending on how close the rebels are at that point. Rebel checkpoint. Ride the rebels to release the civilian ships. I wonder. I wonder what the rewards are for this. I don't want to give filthy rebels money, are you kidding me? <laughs> but if the if the reward for releasing them is good, then it could pay for itself. But we need money so badly. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna... God, how strong are the rebels? I wonder. We're gonna fight them. Oh no! Actually no, this doesn't look so bad. It's only got one shield. Uh, whoa, shit, I forgot to pause. That's okay, we were charging weapons anyway. Okay, we're gonna go straight for weapons. Oh, 
repair those engines. No fires, it looks like. Um, let's see, do I want to take out their shields or their pilot next? They can't shoot me, which is cool. Let's just take out their shields. Then again, I, I have to wonder if maybe it's best to just keep things charged, you know? Oh. Oh, interesting. They do try to jump. Well, in that case, I should have taken out the engines. Dezar, show us your honor by allowing us to leave with our lives. Uh, hell no. Rebels aren't too bad when they're not in the rebel zone, I see that. They need their, their big boy fleet. Now they're bribing you with less money than they asked for. <laughs> oh, it's true. Alrighty. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.